So now we will see about some concepts in the React and the first is the JSX and the JSX stands for the JavaScript XML. So now here we will use the JSX in the React application. So JSX is an inline markup tool that looks like the HTML and gets transformed to the JavaScript and the JSX expression always starts with an HTML like open tag like here it is the div and it will end with the corresponding closing tag like here with the div. So about the JSX but there are some rules of using the JSX in the React. So the important rules of JSX are the first one it returns only the single element. So it will only return a single element inside it and we cannot add multiple tags inside it for the return. So here if we have two tags here like h2 add div but now we are just returning only the single div tag and the h2 is the child container of it. So if I will add a one more div here to check if it will return multiple statements or not. So if I will now add here the one more div and it will the hello. So it will give us an error. So now you will see there is an error. But now if I have to wrap this code inside it, like if I have to use this, so we have to use another rule. The second rule will be the wrap the elements inside the div section or the fragment. So to use it, we have to use some div tags, some sections or the react fragment with it to wrap elements like this. So if we have here the multiple elements, so we have to wrap this inside the single element. Like if I will add here inside the div or section or the react fragment. So if I will now wrap all of these content is with this div with the parent div and this is a parent div. So then you will see there will be no any error. So if I will now go to the Chrome. So now you will see there is no any error in our code. So we can use here the section also or we can also use here the fragment also and about the fragment if we have to use it it will the react and it will import the fragment from the react react dot fragment and we have to wrap all the content inside it all the elements inside it so if i will copy and if i will now wrap it here so then you will see there will be no any error and the output will be the same and the third rule will be the camel case for the html attribute so now you will see there are some html attributes with the some of like are with the inside the own click and the own click in the HTML we have to write like this own click. But now here we have to use this in the camel case. So the own click here will be like own click own and the click this will be in the camel case format. So if we have to use this the h2 tag inside the own click then it will the own click. So this will be the camel case inside it. So we have to use and and if we are styling the element like so we have to define the style inside the expression. So now we will see about the expressions later here. So then you will see the camel case will be there in the HTML attributes. And now here so will be the elements must be closed. So all the elements in the JSX must be closed here. So if we have here the unclosed element like except this div if we have here the form and inside the form we have input tag. So if we are just providing an input tag here, so we have to close the element here. So if I will now remove this, so this was the standard input tag in the HTML. So if we are using the, the uh, JSX here, so we have to close every element inside it. So if I will now save, then you will see there will be an error. So it will give us an error. So we have to close this tag like here is a self closing tag. So if I will now save, then you will see. So then you will see this will be now error free code. So then in the browser, there will be the input. So the next rule will be the capitalized tags will become some component. So about the component we will see later in this course. So the next it will be the non conditional statements or functions. So in the JSX there will be no any conditional statements or functions inside the JSX code and inside it we can use some ternary operator and expressions. Like if we have a condition here if I will now define a number really the const equals to one. So if I will not define this one and if we have to use the if else statement so we have to use it inside the ternary operator but inside the curly braces which will be acted as the expression. So we have to use this a ternary operator like num if the num equals to one so question mark so then we have to wrap this tag and now if the number is not equals to one then it will be the colon here and then it will be the paragraph tag and it will be close and now this is paragraph. So if I will now save then you will see 
in the uh, in this so now you will see this is my application here and now this is in the h2 deck so if i will now change this number from the num to two so then there will be the paragraph inside it so now you will see this is a paragraph so we have to use the ternary operator for some conditions so now the next rule will be like javascript code must be written in the expression so we have written the javascript code here in the previous rule like there are some expression so if we have a number here uh, one more time that calls number equals to the one so we have to wrap the number also so so we have to use the curly braces like this is my application so now this code this expressions will contain the javascript code so if we have to write the number like number so then they have the this is my application num one and now if i will now save then you will see this is my application one so if we have to use the number plus five so then you will see they have uh, this is my application six one plus five equals to the six so these are about some important rules of the jsx so now we will move on to the further development of the of our application